Hi, I'm Tobias Young. And I'm Charles Glass, and we're Team Optimum Athletes. And today we're gonna take you through some of our favorite bicep exercises and show you how different hand placements can actually incorporate different parts of the bicep in order to get your maximum results. We're gonna show you how you incorporate these movements into your workout. And we're gonna to talk to you about Platinum Pre. This exercise we're gonna perform right now is gonna be called the drag curl. Feet shoulder width apart, hands just outside. Now you're gonna complete this movement by dragging up the body. Notice his wrist is locking the position. As we go up, no forearm play, but all bicep. Now the reason we're performing this drag curl is because we don't wanna get the shoulders or the forearms involved in this movement. You only wanna do anywhere between three to four sets. This next exercise is called reverse grip curl. You're gonna grab in a pronated grip. That means your thumbs on top. You're gonna bring it up, locking the wrist, keeping the forearm out of the play, all this bicep, and brachialis. Squeezing the lower back, bring it up, squeeze. Perfect, there you go. Brachialis muscle pushes against that bicep, make it nice and full. There you go. If you notice there, no bend of the wrist. You wanna do anywhere from 12 to 15 reps, three sets each. Always remember to get what? The pronated grip, you can get a false grip or thumbs around. This is my favorite, we call it the 21. You're doing seven from the top, seven from the bottom, and seven all the way. Now you can confuse that muscle a little bit by changing it up. First of all, we're gonna have our feet apart, shoulders back, we're gonna grab that weight just on the outside. As we pick it up, lock it back, and we're gonna bring it up to the midpoint. One, there you go. Two, seven. Now you bring it to the top, halfway down with seven counts. Seven, now you go all the way, top to bottom. One, there you go. Two, that muscle is gonna be fatiguing now, but what you're doing is confusing that muscle. Why? Because now you just started all over again, but top to bottom. That's called a 21. This exercise is called seated dumbbell incline curl. You're gonna have our feet propped up on the dumbbell so that pressures your hips into the pad. Shoulders are gonna stay back and you're gonna alternate the dumbbell coming from a dead hang, contracting at the top. Now if you notice, once he passes his leg, he does what? He contracts that bicep by turning the wrist. There you go, good, perfect. Alternating, it allows you to get a little bit more rest in between and you're able to curl it harder. Tobias and I are now going to perform a high cable pull. And what this is all about is getting a contraction on the bicep. What we're gonna do is grab the cables and we're gonna bring that arm in and squeeze. Now if you notice, at the end of the movement, he what, drops the wrist on it. There you go, good, perfect. Do it again. Squeezing, keeping the body slightly forward. Don't do a lot of it, but really force that muscle to contract. Get the wrist to stay straight, lock, bring it into the arm. Don't use the forearm unless you really have to toward the end. Here's another favorite exercise, and it's called a spider curl. Has to be done simultaneously. As you go up, squeeze in, you're trying to keep the anterior delt out of the movement. There you go. If you notice, his arm is not going forward to pull, but he's coming straight up into what? The bicep. Wrist is locked, forearm stays out of the play. Here we go. Keep the anterior delt out of the movement, making sure you contract that muscle where? At the very top, wrist straight, locked in the position, keeping the forearm out of the play. This exercise is called the preacher curl. All right, here we go. Medium grip, contracting up, lowering it down. Full extension of the arm. If you notice, there's no shoulder play. He's not dropping down, pulling it from the shoulders. He's only using what? His bicep. Always squeezing at the top. Why? You get better contraction. Your contraction only starts at the top of the movement. The slower you move up, the more contraction you have on the bicep. I've tried it products in the past, and I'm not a favorite about certain products because sometimes I get that real good jack and then it's gone. This, I'm telling you, you mix a little bit of it, you drink at the beginning of the workout 30 minutes before, and it lasts throughout the whole time you're working out. Yeah, what I've noticed is some of the other pre-workouts on the market are kind of hit and miss. After 15 minutes into your workout, you seem to fade. You lose your muscle pumps. And what I like about Platinum Pre is that the muscle pumps stay consistent throughout the whole workout. When Optimum Nutrition released Gold Standard Whey, it revolutionized the protein industry. Now with Platinum Pre, they're gonna revolutionize the pre-workout market as well. If you want quality, Platinum Pre would be your best pre-workout drink around. The one you want.